Oh. You got a driver? Working? Hey, do you have a, do you have a driver working? All right, guys, so we are back with another video, and I really wasn't expecting to make this one this soon. So we finished the truck up at the beginning of February with the twin turbo setup. Uh, we've been working on it for the last month and a half and getting it tuned and kind of testing out. We really haven't been pushing it. Uh, we had a 6 PSI. We were literally today, I sent my first log off at 10 PSI to get just a quick adjustment so we could actually turn the truck up, turn it back down, and then I went to get some Instagram videos, and, well, we locked her up. So I don't know what failed. Um, I have pulled the plugs out. I have checked the cylinder walls with the borescope as best I can. Don't see anything wrong. Uh, just during the oil, so I'm going to go through that and see how much metal is in there. Um, but she does not turn over anymore. I... Uh, uh, yeah, I put a breaker bar on the, the crank, and it's not moving. So pretty sure it's done for. So we got to get the motor yanked out of this thing, and that's what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be yanking the motor in it, uh, making sure, seeing what's salvageable, and then going from there. Because I don't know. I didn't plan on having to do a stroker kit. Um, I plan on just doing drop-in pistons from GPI, get a cam, and go, which I already had the cam. I've already started ordering some things for this before this happened. Um, but yeah, I wasn't expecting to have to do a stroker kit. But now I think we're kind of forced to do a stroker. And we're going to see. So we're going to get this thing tore down. I don't know if it'll be tonight or this week. I'm sure it'll be this week. Because we do have Tyler's car here. Uh, and I'll go over what happened here. Pretty much same ordeal. Not turboed very long. Blew up. But... Mine was different. Mine, I don't know what the hell actually happened. Uh, his, we know, he ran out of fuel pump, and it went lean, and it broke some ring lands. So, he's got new pistons in it. Uh, he's, he'll be finishing this up this week, uh, and I'll probably update that in the video here. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Truck blowed up. I did it. Stock motor just couldn't handle it. Um, like I said, we're at 6 PSI. We really weren't making too much power. Probably made 500s. Um, but I did push it. Uh, we had some issues in Texas at TX 2K, and we thought it was fine. Obviously, it wasn't, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what all has been going on with it, but we're going to tear into this thing. Uh, probably not going to video much of yanking this motor because that's pretty boring. Also, we're going to be taking all of our Cerakote back to get redone because it had a little failure, um, and we think maybe it got mixed up wrong, so we're going to give that another shot, um, which so during the downtime, that'll be getting redone. So it'll be like it's all fresh again. Uh, new motor and new Cerakote, and we should be good to go. But yeah, we're gonna get into uh, this oil, see what it looks like, see how shiny it is. Um, I don't know. I really don't know what happened. I'm thinking maybe either the rod bearings or the main bearings just welded itself together. I guess it lost a little bit. I don't know. So the problem is, my truck does not pick that up on HP tuners for whatever reason. Just says zero PSI all the time. Obviously, the dash does not. But during the log, I can't look back to see if it lost the oil pressure. So that's kind of a downside of that. Um, yeah, so we're going to dig into it, see what locked up, see what happened, uh, and then go over probably what all we're going to be ordering because we're going to be getting some good stuff. I can tell you that. But let's get into this oil, see what it looks like, and uh, see if we can see anything. It's bad. So, uh, yeah, this is, I just ran the magnet into the oil and got, I don't know what that is, but it's a, I want to say it's bearing material because it's very, very thin and it kind of looks like the color of bearing material. But there's also just stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't really do this stuff very often, but, uh, yeah, she's definitely blown. You know, I got to say, this thing lasted a lot longer than I expected. I expected it to blow it up in the burnout pit at LTN, spraying it in third gear, and it took it. It took it. It just didn't like first and second today with the turbo setup. So, yeah, she's definitely done. But, uh, oh, well, we'll rebuild it. Um, I'm not mad at it at all. Honestly, this wasn't the failure I was expecting because I really do think it's just the bottom end. Uh, one of the bearings, I don't know exactly what bearing or anything like that. Um, 
but I definitely was expecting a Ringland, fail Ringland failure over the bottom end, but these trucks are known for spinning rod bearings and stuff like that. Uh, I think it's more of a main bearing issue considering it's locked up, but I don't know. So we'll see. We'll get this thing tore down this week and uh, see exactly what it is, but this is bad because I literally just quickly dipped that magnet in there. So who knows what all is in this oil. Uh, yeah, that's bad, but we'll see when we get this thing out and start tearing it down because <laughs> it's so, it's bad. <laughs> so I have got it pretty tore down. Uh, the only things left that I think are left are, uh, the motor mounts. Um, so one thing I also kind of had to realize was the motor's locked up. So torque converter is going to have to come out with it. So I'm going to have to be really careful to not mess up the trans, not too worried about the actual converter itself. Because when it goes back in, I'm pretty sure we're going to be having a circle D converter put in it as well. So that we can actually get a stall in this thing. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah. So, all I got left, I think, unless there's some plugs I might have missed. Um, take off the th three bolts on each side for the motor mounts. Get the engine hoist over here. And get this thing yanked out. It's going to be kind of a pain to get it off the transmission. Especially with that door converter still attached. So, yeah. Also, I'm going to turn this around and show you guys what all I took off. So... So I'm pretty sure we're going to have enough room. Took the radiator out, took off the front of the motor. Um, like I said, everything's all disconnected. You're going to have to pull the wiring harness over, move the tools. But uh, yeah, you got to put the engine hoist on there. You should be able to pull it forward enough to get it not only off of the converter, um, but clear the firewall because that's what I saw other people do on these models. So uh, yeah, and uh, yes, I did remove the AC stuff. We're going to put that back. We're just going to recharge it. Um, I wasn't trying to just, I'm fine with paying the bill for just getting it recharged. I didn't want to have to fight that. So it's just easier to get that stuff out of the way. And yeah, I'm going to figure out what all I missed. So, uh, I'll update you guys when we're uh, actually yanking this thing. Or I say we, me, I'm by myself. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> okay. So we have got this thing out and we've already dropped the pan and we, I'm pretty sure we figured out what's wrong with it. Now we're going to be taking it apart here on the hoist because I can't get it on the engine stand with torque converter. So we got to get it to actually rotate so I can take torque converter bolts off. And I'm going to show you what I think the culprits are of it not wanting to rotate. Um, obviously, we're going to tear it down and see if there's any more damage, but pretty sure that's what it's going to be. So let's turn this thing around. So as you can see, uh, these all are gray. Looking good. Looking good. Uh, that one's burnt. So pretty sure these two are going to be the culprit over here, uh, seven and eight. Obviously got very hot, so my guess, because the look of all of this metal over here in the 7-8 area is uh, those bearings either spun or, I don't know, lost oil and just welded itself to the crank. Um, get the rod caps off, and uh, hopefully we can release that so we can spin the crank, because I think these are all going to be fine. Worst case, we'll break those loose if we can. Uh, then we should be able to rotate this thing, get torque converted off, and get this thing on a stand, and make sure there's not any more damage than just the rods. So I'm gonna get to getting those out, uh, and we're gonna see the damage of those bearings. They're gonna be pretty bad. I've dug out a lot of material out of the oil. Um, there's a lot of oil or material in the pan, and then the filter, I haven't cut it open. If I go get a tool later, we will do that, but yeah, let's get into getting those caps off. All right, well, uh, yeah, that was definitely the issue. This bearing is completely gone. Uh, this one's about gone. And that one's just flaking off. So, yeah, we found the issue. Now we got to get this thing torn down, get the torque converter off, and get it on a stand so we can get it. Make sure everything else is fine. Honestly, we got to make sure the cylinders are good so that we can get the right stoker kit ordered. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to end up boring it over or not. Uh, we might stay with the same bore and just do the 4-inch crank. Uh, I'll figure that out if the bores are bad. Or if uh, Napa just has a good deal on doing that. So we'll see when we get there. But I'm going to get this thing on a stand. And then we'll uh, see if the rest of the block checks out. All right. So we finally got this on the stand. Tyler successfully built his car. Yeah. So now we get round two. We have to build another motor. Yeah. We just took mine off the stand. What? A day and a half ago? Yeah. Right. We just drove it out. Like literally <laughs> maybe an hour ago. And now we're on to mine. Because it's just good. So now I trust him. We're going to do another one. <laughs> but... It's, uh, yeah, yeah. Crank is definitely done for. Yeah, he's just gonna grab some of the bearing. Bearing material. 
Uh, and then we also noticed whenever I was turning this over, trying to get it out, uh, there's totally coolant coming out of that cylinder. So definitely blew the head gasket on that side and messed the rod up pretty good. Uh, or not the rod, the bearing and crank's done for. So we're going to do a 416. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to clearance it and everything uh, in a later video. Obviously, this is just a tear down, see the damages, and see what I'm going to order. A lot of ordering. Oh, yeah, a lot of ordering. So we're going to get this thing all tore apart, see if there's any other damage, see what the head gasket looks like, uh, see if any of the other rods have any issues, and go from there. So we're going to get to tearing it down. Like this shot, it should be okay. Looks fine, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> no, I don't think this side blew a head gasket. No, I think we're good on that. that. Now the other side. <laughs> blew my head gasket. Yeah. Still the baddest DOD lifters possible. Oh yeah. No lifter failure, 66,000 miles, tons of boost, blew everything else up. <laughs> they did great. I know, dude. <laughs> All right, I'll turn it over and do the other side. It's like this is the side we think we blew the head gasket as well. So it smells a lot worse. It does smell worse. Super burnt. <laughs> and there's definitely water in there. We definitely did some. I hope I didn't crack the block. Don't. Do that. <laughs> well, there's. Oh fuck that. Hurt. <laughs> like there's only a few ways you get coolant in the block. Good. All right, we're going with blown head gasket. <laughs> Rings look fine. Surprising. See any cracks? No, but I just cut the shit out of my finger. Yeah, that's No, it's not falling apart like yours was. Mine didn't fall apart until I pulled the rings out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so definitely uh, got her good there. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Straight? I don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming. You can definitely see the heat, though. Yeah, yeah, no, it definitely got hot. I don't know. These are really the only two cylinders that were a problem because as soon as we took those out, Turned over fine. Yeah. Which I don't know if I put the video of what happened yet, but I'll put it now if not. Uh, yeah, it definitely just stopped. It turned off. So, and like something. Those are the two problem channels. Mm -hmm. uh, it could just be the bearing. I think that's all it was. Yeah. So, gonna get the rest of it tore down. We'll show you what they're supposed to look like. Not like that. And then uh, go from what we're gonna do. All right, so we got it tore down. So this is what they're supposed to look like, in case you didn't know. Uh, that's what mine looks like. So definitely the problem. Uh, I was going to show you guys what a good bearing looks like, but every single one of them isn't that great. I mean, they're not as bad as these, obviously, but none of them look the best. Um, but here's the difference you can see with the heat. So these got super hot, um, like really bad. Honestly, I don't know how long they were like that. Um, but they got way more heat than all of the rest of them. Uh, so luckily so far, we don't see anything wrong with any of the cylinders or anything like that, uh, which is good news. So the plan probably is to take it to the machine shop and get it, um, bored out five thousand, So we can be at a 4070 instead of 4065 and put a 416 stroker kit in it. Um, which I'm going to be having to do all the clearancing and deleting, of the oil squirters and everything like that. Uh, so it should be uh, it's a pretty bad bitch, honestly, for a truck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but once the built motor's in it, we'll be actually turning this thing up. Uh, we're limited to a lot of things with the stock block. And with the 416, we should be able to turn it up and really shoot for the thousand number at least once. Uh, probably leave it around 900, though. We're going to try to fuck Tyler up, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I really want to see a crew cab come around me. <laughs> <laughs> so... We're going to get the rest of this thing tore down, get the cam out, get the lifters out, oil pump. Uh, probably going to leave the crank for now because uh, i got to order some things. So, yeah, we're going to get the rest of that out. All right, so we got it all tore down. Uh, we got the cam out of it. Cam looks fine, but the bearings don't look great, which is fine because we were going to get it. Uh, new cam bearings put in it anyways. Not that bad, but some of them aren't very good either. You can barely see it, but it's whatever. We're going to get this thing stripped the rest of the way down get some ARP mains and take it to the machine shop so that they can do the boring, do new bearings and uh, just line hone everything, make sure everything's good. So that we can put the 416 together and not have any issues. And Tyler's about to check our head gasket issue over there with his straight edge. Uh, that's the straightest thing we could find. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna be the best thing. Nah. Obviously the machine shop's gonna actually check it out for us. 
Um, might take on my heads. I don't know if I'm going to send those off to get ported. Probably going to take it to get them checked out first. What do you think? That's all Yeah? Okay. So I'm probably going to drop those off with at Napa as well to get checked out when we get the block done. And then whenever we have the actual stuff to put this thing together, will be the next video. So I'm going to end this one here. And hopefully we get a good bill of health from the block and the heads. And the next one, we're going to be putting this thing together and getting it ready to be put back in the truck. And we're going to kick Tyler's ass. That's the goal. I'll turn it down for you. Oh, you're going to turn it down? Yeah, so we're, the end the goal of this truck was just to run like a 10. We'll see. It might be a 9 now. I want to shoot. I really do. I really want to shoot very badly. So I don't know. Maybe we'll try to trap it fast enough to really need one. Uh, it is a 6,000-pound truck, so... 135 in the fucking quarter, I'm, I'm putting a shoot on it. Yeah. Maybe not pull it, but it's good to have it because that's fast, okay? Uh, but yeah, so I'll update you guys whenever we get this back from the machine shop and we got the actual stroker kit to install. And I'll show you guys how to do that because it's going to be a learning process. I've never done it. Uh, so it's going to be my first time and we'll be doing this together. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.